the HellMD demo is all about showcasing this system uh, for the warfighters and showing them in a tactical environment uh, what the system can actually do, uh, demonstrating that it's not a laboratory experiment, that we're actually taking it to the field uh, with targets that the real warfighter would see uh, in theater. So HellMD's primary mission is what they call CRAM, that's a counter rocket artillery mortar. HellMD will demonstrate taking a target cue from a radar to a munition that's already in the air slewing to that target, tracking that target optically, and then actually killing it with the laser system. Showing a level of finesse and precision that's really never been demonstrated before in any directed energy system. We've been able to engage mortars and, and hit them precisely as we had planned. Really demonstrating that this is not a science fiction thing. It's, it's here, it's today, it's ready to go. The fact that we can go set up at any point that a commander would want us to, uh, that's huge for the Army. We're air transportable to the battlefield. Once we're on the battlefield, we can drive to the area that needs to be protected. It has its own self-contained power and cooling unit, which allows us to fire up the generators, pop the top, bring up the beam director, and we're ready to go. And, and you can just look at the system. It looks battle ready. You have to keep up with where the battle lines are, that's where the protection is needed, and that's what the system provides. The moment that HellMD gets a cue from the radar system that ammunition has been launched, it takes literally seconds for us to lock on to target. We get a very precision track on that target at a very specific aim point, and that's the lethal aim point. And it's then that we fire the high energy laser, we hold it there for a sufficient amount of time to achieve a kill. So another mission that HellMD has is counter UAV, unmanned aerial vehicles. We can track these UAVs, again from a radar queue from great distances. We can monitor, identify them, find out if they're a threat or not. And then put photons on target. Basically, we can operate the entire system with two people. You have a driver who also uh, helps with emplacement and displacement, and then you have an operator. And we want to be able to run it, single guy from a single laptop with an Xbox controller. Something that he doesn't have to go to school to learn for years and years, but something that uh, he knows how to use instinctively. That's a fantastic capability for the military. I mean, two people, two. Currently, the Army is able to detect mortars and rockets as they come in, but all they can pretty much do is sound an alarm, uh, people have to jump in foxholes or, or undercover and, and just hope for the best. This allows the Army to now detect those and then try to take those out before they reach a, a base, and so it has the potential to save many lives. Those mortars, those rockets, UAV directing those attacks possibly, those would go away. This system will take them out. Now that we have the system locked in, we've been achieving a very high rate of kill. We can't wait to see uh, what else they have to throw at us. The Navy's latest ordnance launching technology will be tested aboard a joint high-speed vessel in 2016. The test marks the first time an electromagnetic railgun will be used at sea. The railgun uses electromagnetic force to rapidly launch a projectile and will show how next generation technology can add to naval warfighting. If you think about the capabilities of the electromagnetic railgun and the affordability of the system, now we have a system that is multi-mission. It can do ballistic missile defense, it can do cruise missile defense, it can do anti-air warfare defense, it can even do long range strike to support our expeditionary forces. The railgun's projectiles store enough energy to destroy targets without requiring explosives. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Jen Blake. <laughs>